Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a fun collaboration video with my friend Grace from Everyday Edit. You guys, if you're not familiar with Everyday Edit, which I seriously doubt, <laughs> I have been watching Grace for from the beginning. Grace has an amazing channel. She is a fellow luxury beauty lover. That's kind of how I got onto her. She has a very calming, beautiful presence about herself, and she is basically beautiful inside and out. She just has really great in-depth reviews as well as awesome makeup tutorials and I just really enjoy watching her. So the other day she was commenting on one of my videos. I was talking about my upcoming powder video and she reached out and said we should do this together and I was so thankful because to be honest you guys, before YouTube, I did not really wear powder. I know, this is crazy. So what we thought we would do is share all of our powders between the two of us. I'm hoping that you guys will get a good collection of powder recommendations. So I'm gonna go through my powder roundup and share with you my favorites and why they are my favorites as well as have her share all of her powders. So I'm super excited about watching her video, you guys. So I think between the two of us, we may have a little overlap, but we're hoping that it's going to give you some good basis for powders. So if you're interested in seeing my powder roundup as well as Grace's at Everyday Edit, then let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, before we dive in, I thought I should give you a little background that I am 51 years old. I have dry skin. So the powders that I look for are going to be kind of the ones are gonna, that are gonna be more hydrating. I'm not really looking for matte kind of powders, but I did include a couple for to make this a little bit more well-rounded that I do own and that are not too matte for my dry skin. But in general, you guys, a little less is more with the powder, and I always am trying to look for ones that are going to be a little bit more forgiving on mature skin. So with that being said, let's dive into loose powders. Okay, we're gonna start with pretty much my favorite loose powder at the moment, and that is the Sicily. This is the Fito Pudra Libra. I have it in shade number three, Rose Orient. It is super finely milled. It does contain some skincare benefits in it, all Sicily kind of, um, woo, um, all Sicily products have skincare benefits in this. This is supposed to be a very sheer sort of matte kind of powder. And what I find is that I'm someone who doesn't necessarily want a matte look, but this one is just perfect. It is so silky, you guys, just amazing. And again, the rose is not going to give you like a pink kind of cast. I could pretty much get away with almost every single one of the colors. They offer four different shades. It is just a beautiful silky powder that perfects the skin. And I just like to use just a teeny bit of it right through my T-zone and then just all over my face. And what I find is it just evens out the skin. Um, I have had no irritation with that powder. I don't find it to be flat or matte or anything like that. And it has just been my favorite. Now, this is $97. I will say I did drop this by accident, so some of it spilled out, but this will last me at least a year, you guys. I don't use a ton of powder, and I just have to say this has been in my heavy rotation of loose powders. Pretty much use this almost daily. Next loose powder I want to talk about is the Hourglass, and this is the Veil translucent setting powder. You guys, this one is amazing. And I do have to tell you, I bought this when it first launched and I still have plenty. That's what I'm saying. I'm not a huge powder wearer. And this one, you guys, has nice little kind of um, well here. 
so it's not going to spill out too much powder at once. I do want to give a shout out for the brush that they, they created with this. It is perfection for putting powder on and then has a different tapered end here. So it's going to be really great for underneath your eyes. But this is another fantastic powder. You guys, this again is going to be a very ultra fine kind of powder. It is going to include some light reflecting particles that is going to blur kind of of your pores and wrinkles. This one I find to be super forgiving on more mature skin. And honestly, this was probably my go-to choice before I got the Sisley. So those two are kind of up there as far as my favorite kind of loose powders. This is also paraben free. Next we have La Mer, the powder. This is $95. It comes in a glass container here. And this one is going to contain the La Mer Miracle Broth. So there is some skincare benefits in this. This one, you guys, has a little bit more of a shimmer in it. Nothing too terrible. I actually really enjoy this powder. Um, and I do have to say, I love the La Mer powder brush. So I bought these together and I truly have to say, this brush is amazing and do love this. This is gonna just mattify your skin a little bit, but it's not gonna make it feel dry or chalky. So this has been another one of my favorites. Now, I did not try the original La Mer powder, and I had heard many people love that so much more than this. This was my first foray into the powder, and I had to say I really enjoy it. So again, this has lasted me for years here, you guys. So I bought this when I when the foundation launched, the Long Lasting Software Foundation, and I love the combo of all three of these, um, the foundation, this, the powder, and the brush, I have to say, are all one of my favorites. So nothing to complain here very good powder it is going to give you a little bit more of um it does have a teeny weeny bit i wouldn't say shimmery but it's not completely translucent okay next we're going to bring up chanel because we've got to have the classic this is the poudre universelle libra i have this guy in claire this is translucent one and you guys this is a fantastic again finely milled powder for myself i find this to be a bit more mattifying so i tend to use this guy a little bit more in the summery months when i am a little bit more uh, I don't know if I would say oily when I'm looking to mattify my skin just a little bit more. Really awesome. And you guys, my daughter absolutely loves this one. So she's been using this guy and her favorite powder, just as an FYI, because I'm not mentioning it here, is um, Laura Mercier translucent powder for myself and my age and my dry skin. That one for some reason does not work for me, um, but I thought I should mention it because it's such a classic. I find it, I tend to find that it is a little bit drying on my skin versus this does not seem to dry my skin out, but I do need a light hand with this. And it is just a fantastic kind of universal Powder. This one comes in seven different shades. It is $52, you guys. I find this to be a very good value because it's going to last you a very long time versus one of the other kind of high-end powders that are running in the $90 range. So if you are a Chanel lover, this one is a fantastic powder it does have a teeny bit of scent on this and i do want to mention that because it is not super strong and again my skin does not like a lot of fragrance in products but this one does not seem to irritate it so just thought i would mention that as far as that guy next loose powder that is quite amazing and that is the rms beauty 
I have it in the tinted unpowder. Now you guys, this is going to be your clean version. It is vegan, hypoallergenic, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. And it is a really fantastic powder. When I am using the RMS Beauty Uncover kind of concealer foundation, I do feel like I need to set that. So I purchased this along with that. You guys, it's just a really nice tint. I'm in shade two to three. So it's not gonna be too much coverage, but it gives you a little bit more and it really sets the makeup, um, specifically the RMS makeup. This one includes um, the highest quality silica and mineral pigments. It is sheer coverage. It's going to minimize the size of pores as well as kind of soften skin and absorb excess oil. So really nice powder here. This is something I tend to use specifically when I'm pulling out and using all my RMS Beauty products. Um, I just really enjoy that one. So another good mention. Okay, you guys, next one is truly a favorite. You've probably seen this in a lot of my videos. I'm moving on to compacts and pressed powders. And my favorite is from Tom Ford. This is the Illuminating Powder. This is in Translucent. You guys, this one is just silk on the skin. So I kind of fell in love with this guy after I got a makeover from Tom Ford and they used just a touch of this, not too much. And I just felt like that a little bit of illumination, it wasn't too shiny. It just sort of made my skin look healthy. Um, again, I've had it for quite some time and I have plenty of product left here, but this one is very well loved and used. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. You guys, there's something a little bit magical about this powder. This was one of the powders, kind of my entree into actually liking powders, was using this. There's an airbrush quality about it. It is not drying on the skin. Um, it just looks gorgeous, and this would definitely be a repurchase for me, but clearly I have other powders. Um, so you guys, this is $45. It is also gonna be great for someone with more dry skin, because because it has rose wax and almond oil that's going to kind of keep your skin hydrated throughout the day. It is not going to be greasy, but it just seems to be very forgiving on a more mature skin. Very much a favorite. The next two compact powders I'm gonna talk about are limited edition. They are from Shantakai and they are similar. So I wanted to talk about this because I know you can still get the Hummingbird collection. So the first one I have is their Holiday. This is their Eclat Dough, and this is their Illuminating Face like Balm to Powder formulation. So you guys, this one makes your skin just look airbrushed. But the difference is this guy is going to be, have a little bit of illumination. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, you guys. Um, it just is going to have a little bit more of an illuminating base versus your perfect blur finishing powder. So you guys, this one's gonna smooth and perfect your complexion, and it is a gel powder, and it's infused with a special combination of optically cor correcting pearls and blurring spheres to filter out imperfections. So I have to say, I love this formulation. It is just like their bronzers, you guys. So easy, glides right onto the skin, and it really does give you this beautiful kind of smoothed out airbrushed look. So I am really enjoying this. This one, I am probably gonna really enjoy a little bit more in the summer when I want to kind of mattify a little bit more for my dry skin. I still have been pulling out this guy to kind of give me a little bit of illumination when I'm using my Shantakai products. 
this one, you guys, you can still get your hands on it. I have a feeling this is gonna become a, something permanent in their collection because the formulation of their bronzers and this kind of powder is just really beautiful and nice. So cannot recommend this enough. I do wanna tell you, I picked up their Chantakai. This is their Buff and Blur brush, and I really like it. It is a dense kind of kombuki brush, and just using this, I'm gonna have so much powder all over my face today, but um, just really enjoy that as well, kind of to kind of really buff this guy into the skin. So really nice combination. If you are a Chantakai lover, definitely get your hands on. Okay, I have two new ones to my collection that I really have fallen in love with. The the first one is the Kogan Doe. This is their Brightening Moisture Powder. And you guys, I've used this in a couple different videos. Really love this guy. Um, this one is going to have a little bit more brightening effect. So you can see it's a little bit brighter than some of the other powders I've talked about. Um, it is not going to be too brightening. Someone said, is it more translucent? You guys, it's just super silky on the skin. This is going to be hydrating. It's infused with mineral powders, moisture retaining botanical. It's also going to include some skincare benefits like your favorite hyaluronate and ceramides. So it's going to be long wearing, hydrating, and just a little bit brightening. So cannot tell you, love this powder. Definitely up there. And then the next one is actually a powder from MAC. And this is their Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder. I have it in medium. And you guys, this is just a beautiful powder. So Mandy Davis had told me about this powder. It's one of her favorites as well. She always includes this in her kit. You guys, it is a gorgeous powder on the skin. I have not found it to be drying whatsoever. This is one of those slow baked powders. It's just one of these classic MAC favorites and really happy to have it. It is really nice kind of finish on the skin, more of a natural, not matte or dewy or radiant, but it does kind of have a little bit of dimension to it. So it just really gives you a nice finish to your skin. So really been enjoying this guy. Then last but not least, you guys, we have the most beautiful finishing powders and that is going to be from Our Glass. That is their ambient lighting palette is what I have. They also sell these individually, but you guys, this is a mature woman's best friend. If you are wanting your face to kind of just look healthy and glowy and have your most perfected skin, you are definitely gonna be interested in this guy. So I have the one with the palette. This, this includes dim light, incandescent light and radiant light powders. This product is also going to be free of talc, gluten, fragrance, and nanoparticles. And you guys, these, these are just going to give you such a beautiful. So the dim light right here, you guys, is a neutral peach beige powder that's going to blur imperfections and highlights a radiant complexion with a perfect balance of warm and cool tones. Condescent is a special that's just included in this palette. This incandescent is going to be brightening to your skin. And then we've got Radiant Light, which is a sun-kissed golden beige that enhances the overall complexion with believable subtle warmth and also extends a summer glow. So you guys, the way that I was taught to use that was just to kind of run the brush over the top of it and then buff this into the skin to finish off and give myself a really nice glow. Now, I don't always do that every single day, but every time I pull out any of my Hourglass stuff, I just love this brand so much. And I think this is a great way to end the powders because this one I have owned for several years. I still have plenty of products. This particular guy is still available. It is $64. Um, but you guys, any of them, you can buy them individually. They have beautiful 
powders and I just think they are fantastic for more mature skin. If you want that kind of pretty radiant kind of easy way to finish your skin, not irritating at all and they are not drying. So these are all of the powders in my rotation. Again, you guys, um, these have been collected throughout before I was not much of a powder girl. I have learned that powder can be your best friend. Even if you have more dry, mature skin, you just need to get the right ones. And these are the ones that I would recommend to anyone. Try to include a variety. So I hope this was helpful. And of course, I always love to hear what your favorite powders are. So let me know. And let's go ahead and hop over to Everyday Edit and watch her video. I want to see. I have a feeling she has more powders than me. Maybe I'm wrong, but I would love to learn about her favorites. And you guys, thank you so much for watching as well as I want you guys to be staying healthy, staying sane. And thank you guys for all your support and love. You are amazing. Have a fantastic day.